Uh, my name is Ian Smith. Uh, I'm a materials scientist and environmental consultant working with Triterra. Uh, I specialize in hazardous materials, especially asbestos and lead. So what I'm about to discuss, it might be surprising. Every home, every building has its own set of unique issues. Some homes and buildings, especially older ones, have more serious issues than others. What we're gonna go over today is how do you address potential presence of asbestos and lead paint in your home or your building, and why is it important during the renovation or repair process? A lot of the buildings that we're faced with are older buildings. The issue is a lot of them were originally built before the push to get asbestos and lead out of building materials. So you're going to have the presence of some materials that contain these. We have a section of floor that's going to be removed Moved. This material here is old linoleum. Uh, it tends to contain quite a bit of asbestos. And sometimes you'll you'll go into a building, you'll tear up the carpet, and you'll find six layers of flooring. And while those aren't a nuisance or a health hazard when they're covered uh, and encased, once you start removing materials, you're introducing asbestos into the air, and you're, it's going to cause a health hazard that maybe you weren't aware of. With asbestos, we worry about what's called friability. So if something is friable, you can take it in your hand and you can crumble it to dust, and then that dust can get into the air, and then you have an issue. You're breathing in asbestos fibers. So in this case, this is not friable. But once we start cutting this floor out to do our, our renovation, you're gonna make dust. Uh, it's a dangerous material. It has physical properties that cause respiratory issues, including asbestosis, some forms of lung cancer. One of the most well-known is uh, mesothelioma. These are all caused by asbestos fibers in the air. So what we do before that renovation begins is we take a sample of this, uh, send it to a certified lab, and they tell us, number one, is there asbestos there? And how much is there? We've also noticed we've got an older wall here. This looks like it is drywall, but it it is old enough that I would be concerned uh, for the safety of that if we were to start tearing that out for two reasons. One, it could contain asbestos fibers, usually in the joint compound that's used along the seams, but also because there are so many layers of paint on there, it could contain lead-based paint. Similarly, uh, if there's lead in paint within your home and that paint is in good condition and remains in good condition, it's not going to be a likely hazard. Should you, however, decide to remove a wall or should there be an incident where maybe you are compelled to remove wallboard or plaster or flooring to repair your home and get it back to livable conditions, you need to utilize lead safe work practice. As a renovation contractor, you're going to be doing your job and if you haven't addressed the presence of asbestos or lead containing paint and you go ahead and do that job, you could be creating a hazard as a result of the work that you're doing, unbeknownst to you. So as a renovation contractor, you need to be aware that these materials do exist. And just by doing your job and doing it well, you may be causing a hazard for, for yourself, for your workers, for the homeowners, and for the community around, around the building. So this is important information. If you have any more questions about it or you think that we can help you, please contact Triterra and give us a call. You can send us an email or you can just visit our website.